Welcome to the channel. Shop's a mess right now. Terex up there on the table. What we're working on today, little 10th scale trailer build. Starting out with some quarter inch angle aluminum. We're gonna use aluminum guys, cause that's, for most of you guys, it's gonna be easiest to cut. You can cut that on uh, you know regular chop saw with a wood blade get your angles right that's i really recommend chop saw or a miter box if you're going to be cutting angles and um if you guys want to get into brazing that's a whole nother subject i've started to get into brazing guys i got myself uh this uh map gas that's really supposed to be good but then I went and I set myself, it really wasn't working out for me too much. I set myself up with one of these setups with the oxygen. It's one of these, um, it's like a jeweler's torch. So you hook up your oxygen and the map gas. And um, obviously you have, let's bring this over here. And compared to this tip, to that tip, I'm gonna have a lot better control of the, the flame, control of the temperature, and um, the size of the flame, which is really getting to be my problem uh, with brazing. Stuff was just going anywhere. Well, I'm not sure I what you guys, what we were using here. I'm just brazing with some of these little on brazing rods. Anyway, back to the trailer build. This one I decided not, uh, I haven't braised anything on it yet. This aluminum is notched and bent. What we're gonna do, guys, is gonna be pretty sick. Got a leaf spring set up for this. <clears throat> it's my tires wheel choice obviously they're gonna sorry for the shaky camera guys my uh my tripod broke i really couldn't do a video like this on a tripod anyways so i mean there's your basic rough cut look we're gonna have leafs in there though there is gonna be you know some uh fender flares mud guard you know we're gonna do something really cool and scale up front this is just the start. I want to put it out there though, guys. This trailer, it's going to be pretty nice when I get done with it. Not sure how far we're going to go, but this is going to be my first, uh, first channel giveaway. It's going to be this 10th scale trailer with the leaf sprung suspension, those wheels. We're going to do this 500 subscriber giveaway. This, chan this trailer will be finished uh, maybe today. Who knows? I've got an obsession with working on tiny trucks. Hashtag tiny trucks. Um, so this is what I do. I'm going to be working on this sucker. I'm excited. This is going to look good. But it's just going to be a pretty basic kind of like car hauler. It's not big enough to hold my... I mean, it, it could, the TRX-4, no, I can't sit on there. I mean, no. Not really meant to haul a 10th scale crawler. You could build off of this and build like a little adventure trailer. I'm thinking I might just throw a little railing up around the edges. Maybe not even, maybe just leave it a fat, flat trailer. A little bit of sheet, aluminum up here. Maybe even a little winch or something up here. A little toolbox. Finish up the hitch. Looks like a lot to do, but it's really not, guys. This thing is going to be sick. So I'm officially announcing it. 500 subscriber giveaway. This trailer 
when it's completed. Gonna be sick. I hope you guys would enjoy something like this. If you, you know, like, please comment, and please subscribe. But, you know, in the comments, guys, let me know what you think of this. Would you guys be excited to win something like this? The winner would have to pay shipping. I do have quite a bit of money invested in this already. So for a giveaway on a small channel like this, yeah, I w I'm going to require, you know, even in the U.S., the, the winner's going to have to pay shipping. But on that note, it's still going to be a sick trailer for sure. Probably should have took the tape off the glue or the boards, but... You know what it is, guys. I'm just trying to give you a little update. You guys have seen the new TRX4 body. Oh, you haven't seen the new rear bumper. Yeah, racing bumper. I had to modify that. I'm going to throw a quick couple clips in here about how I modified this bumper to fit the TRX4 too. To fit my TX4 for my liking. It comes fitting. It comes with a uh, spare tire mount that I removed. So all the mounting holes mount the, the, uh, the bumper like two inches out from the body. And you guys know I love to climb. I can't have that. So I removed the spare tire mount. We're not putting extra weight out back. No way. And um, drilled a couple holes and tucked that thing right up in there. But it's got this sweet tow hitch. Got this too, guys. Sweet tow hitch to stick in there so we can tow around said trailer until I give it away. I don't want to give it away now. It's pretty sweet. All right, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks again. Have a great day. Oh, here's a little shout out at Chittenango, New York. All right, guys. Have a great day.